good evening and welcome to another live stream. Um, I thought I'd pop on this evening and uh, share with you guys some stuff that I've picked up at the charity shops um, and you know just just talk through what I've picked up, what kind of stuff I found um, and hopefully that will be of interest. Uh, so it's just a, a, like a, a little haul video I suppose, a, a haul stream. Um, I went out to the car boots on Sunday I did a little stream for that um, and I, I think I, I, I'm enjoying getting out again uh, it, well enjoying it kind of I went out again today and so I thought I'd just pop out and then uh, and, um, show you guys what I got it's, it's some stuff that I wouldn't normally pick up um, but yeah pretty pleased with I'll say a few hellos um, Southwest Seller says good evening Bex, Alfie and the hairy one Tuesday is not the new Friday. Um, we will be back on Friday. Beck and I will be back streaming on Friday, uh, like with our normal weekly sales, uh, that type of thing. Um, so yeah, we will be doing that. Um, graphs will be on Friday. We're still doing the Friday chin wag, so I do appreciate you um, commenting, South of Sellers. Um, Elle Patterson, um, hi there. Daryl Hibbert, Selena Scott, Diane, Mandy, she's always flipping. Ash, I'm the legend. Fake Rachel as well, wow. Um, will Shop as well. Chelsea, Richard Hale, Peter Ray. Um, Ash says, you need to do more videos, you slacker. I am planning on remedying that situation. So thank you everybody for popping in. I do appreciate it. Um, so yeah, went out today, um, dropped back off and um you know just decided to pop back uh, pop straight into the the local charity shops and, and i'll just share with you guys what, what i picked up um tommy bernard has popped in asap for president or oh, i don't know maybe maybe um thank you for popping in tea cakes as well um all right i'm gonna start i'm gonna start off um with some of the things that i found um there was a mixture, there was a, a fair few clothes, um, there's like a jewellery job lot which um, is interesting um, and then there's some other bits and pieces so we'll, we'll go on with it. Um, the first thing I found um, when, while I was out sourcing today was this, it is um, a T Focus T25 Alpha and Beta uh, beach body uh, like booklet, it looks like it should just be audio but I believe I'm not sure if this is audio or whether it's DVD um, I th I'm guessing it's going to be DVD because you have to work out to this um, so yeah it all the discs are complete um, hey tat on the time MM antiques Chris B uh, thank you for popping in guys um, so yeah it's got like this whole thing as you can see it is used not by myself because clearly I don't need this um, I'm in in peak physical shape and I've just looked through and look I've just found an animal farm DVD so there's something wrong with that um, the rest of them look like they are okay the rest of them look like they're beach body DVD so it's missing one DVD or one CD so it's missing one disc um, which has been replaced by animal farm um, which is fantastic anyway, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, Claire Thompson says, hey, can't stay, got to put little ones to bed. No worries, thanks for popping in, Claire. Uh, Jason Entwistle as well, Kath Palmer, Chris B, uh, Larry Master. Um, eBay will probably take it down, says Larry. See, th that's what I was worried about. Um, yeah, it's Beachbody. I, there's quite a few completed listings. Um, T25 Focus, Alpha... Uh, beta. Yes, yeah, so I'm. I'm concerned that. Yeah, you're. I think you're, that would be a concern. So this is this. These are like the completed listings, um, and apparently it's meant to come with some restraints as well. But people have gotten like 21 quid. Get it done. Alpha plus beta. Um, so yeah, I mean I don't know. It, it, they seem to be fetching okay money. Um, well, that's. T I mean, I'm obviously missing a disc now, so I'm not even sure if it's going to be worth a listing. They're often removed, are they? Um, they took mine down years ago, even on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not sure then. I'm not sure about listing that, especially as it's got an Animal Farm disc. Um, <laughs> Ashley says hi. I've managed. I've not managed to catch you live for a while. Looking forward to the jewelry and all your good buys, love. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Ashley. Um, yeah, we started off really well with something that's probably going to get taken down, so that's a bit of a shame. 
Uh, next item, good old pair of Levi's jeans, uh, paid £1.50. Normally, I wouldn't buy this size because it's a little bit, you know, like small. It's a 28 inch waist with a 32 inch leg. But the condition of these jeans were so good. These are Levi's um, 508s. Um, and the, the condition of these jeans is really nice, as you can see, but they're tiny, like 28 inch waist. I, I can't even understand that. Um, I, I don't understand a 28 inch waist. It's just, you know, just crazy to me. Um, but having had a look, there is obviously a market for it. And at £1.50, um, it's not a terrible thing um levi's what are these these are like 508 so let me just do a, a 508 search so if you look at 508s someone got um 24 pounds for some used ones um i mean these are a black label those like a normal blue wash and the normal tan label um auction they didn't do so well 14 quid uh 12 i don't know 508 at auction auction that's a different waist size, um, but I mean, you know, not terrible for one pound fifty. Um, try them on. I don't think they would fit. So there we go. Um, oh god, um, got like three similar items. Mine always get taken down. The other stay ups is Larry Master. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably not going to bother with that then. Um, with the with the beach body thing, but yeah, those jeans not bad. Um, then picked up. Obviously, from a, I think it might even be the same person, but I'm not sure. But I picked up some 511s, which are waist 29, leg 30. Um, again, I only paid one pound fifty for these uh, from a, a Bernardo's donation center. So I'm, I don't mind buying like you know dodgy sizes, waist 29, leg 30, um, but should do okay with Levi 511s like that. So you can see here. 23 32 oh those are brand new okay brand new brand new pre-owned 26 okay um i should do okay i mean i only paid one pound 50 um i'm sorry <laughs> the one's just funny um bobby billington says 25 to 30 easy even for the smaller size yeah i mean thanks bobby for for that tip um and thanks for popping into the chat yeah they're just in really good condition like they're they're barely worn you can just see from the hems there's like no wear to these um the 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 area which tends to get like a lot of i mean on my jeans anyway this just wears away um so i'm kind of so i always check the you know the rise or, or the i don't know anyway um i could fit in a 28z what you're saying though is <laughs> I wish I could fit in a 28 is what I'm saying. I, I'm a 38, you know, I used to be a 32. So there we go. Um, next item again for £1.50. Um, I'm not 100% on this, but I thought for £1.50, can't go wrong. I, I don't know, actually, you guys can tell me if I can or not. Um, this is some protective, like, protective wear. Um, they're a pair of, like, trousers with... Um, braces on them and they're by a, a well-known company okay, so they're just they're just like high-vis stuff you know like like workmen wear on roads and things like that um i mean what caught my attention was on the tag it did say that the um it, it did actually say that the some of the material used um it was yeah there's two percent carbon fiber in the fabric so i thought like i thought you know carbon fiber is um quite a unique material to be used in clothes i didn't think it would be so pick these up for one pound fifty um and i have not seen anything exactly like this but if i show you kind of what i think i can get the brand is cyan um, and let me just show you the only thing I could find that was similar like was actually the jacket so someone sold the jacket but as new other and it went for 41 pounds plus shipping on auction um, so that was for the for the jacket and that's the, the same thing the Cyan 
uh, Sayapur Arco jacket. Now, my concern is obviously mine are used. I can't see any damage to them. Um, they look in, you know, barely used condition. Um, so I'm guessing they should be okay to list. There are, are a couple of marks, but nothing major, nothing. There's no damage to the material or anything. So I, I don't think it would mess with their kind of integrity or whatever, but, um, 41 quid for the jacket. I don't know. Maybe the trousers are worth 20, 30 quid. I paid one pound 50. Uh, so there we go. Um, what he gets up to in the office remains in the office says Dave. I don't know what that means. Hey, Bex, if I, um, is that where you put crotch cam? Crotch cam was retired many years ago. Um, fake Rachel. Um, so yeah, we don't do that crotch wear. A common condition you can get. Get some cream at the pharmacy. Yeah, my the crotch itself is not the issue. Um, I suppose what I'm saying is maybe I've just got like more density down there. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe normal fabrics or the normal garments just aren't used to to dealing with all that. So that's why maybe mine wear. I don't know. Uh, just anyway. That was the next item. Um, you're set for some North Sea fishing. If it if can't sell, will do well on them. I'm sure. Says tea cakes. Hopefully, I'll do well on them. I, I don't know, um, but one pound fifty is something I'm gonna pick up. Um, this is a bit of a an out of season purchase, I guess. But this is a New Balance. Um, this is like a New Balance jacket, but it's kind of New Balance. It's called like NB Heat. So it's got like it's got like a little logo down there which says like NB Heat. Um, it's not made of down because I think they do this jacket with like down and it's um, That can be like quite valuable because obviously the, the material this is just made in China size XL and it's just cotton from uh, from what I can read on the tag. It's just a hundred percent Cotton so it's just a new balance jacket really nice condition again. This was all for one pound fifty so basically I've got like a a donation center, Bernardo's donation center, and they put clothes in bins. You pick them out, um, and there we go. So it, they're in good condition. Check the pockets; um, the zip's fine. So it's if I can just show you. It's difficult to show really because it's just a, you know, just a jacket, little kind of puffer jacket type thing. Let me see if I can zip it up, and maybe I'll be able to show you. Um, let me just see. Let's zip it up. There you go. Yeah, so it's out of season definitely right now. I, I can't see anyone wearing that today. Um, unless they're out shoplifting or something. Um, yeah, so very good condition. Um, £1.50 and I will be looking uh, New Balance Heat um and be heat coat um and let me just see what we can achieve on on those um and be heat oh god i can only seem to bring up trainers at the moment for some reason i'm not sure why that is oh there we go Okay, um, I mean this this is the only one that I could come up with but that was like new um, and it was it had down So I don't think that will work the rest are all trainers, but I'm guessing I don't know 15 plus 20 25 um, Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I mean it's in good condition for one pound fifty Let me know what you guys think do you think what would you price it at because I'm not a hundred percent um, on that, I'm, I'm probably thinking 20, 25 pounds. Um, there's not obviously many jackets, but when you look at them new, they're quite expensive. So, new balance jacket. Maybe I shouldn't put NB heat. Maybe I should put a new balance jacket and see whether that does anything. Um, let's go to completed. Yeah, they're, they're kind of more shell suits are coming up. I'm, it's more of a a warmer jacket oh there you go that well that's got a liverpool fc mark on it so yeah that's going to be worth more 
But yeah, I'm guessing 2025, 20, 20 plus shipping, says Josh Law. Um, TKEX says, picked up some used A6 today. £25, put them down again. Ridiculous. Yeah, £25 is a lot of money to be asking um, at a charity shop, but they do ask that um, sometimes. This next item, I like buying hoodies. I don't know why, but this is a full zip Adidas hoodie. Uh, it's got like a really nice red logo there. And on the back, you've got, again, the Adidas logo as well. It's just a plain gray hoodie. But I like it. I like these kinds of hoodies. I don't know why. Um, it's a size medium. I'm guessing I'll get around 15, maybe 20 top end, but about 15 pounds. I paid one pound 50 for it. Um, I noticed it had like a little patch at the bottom there, which says like Team Adidas. So I mean, we'll, we'll have a look because I'm not actually checked this out, but I'm guessing around 15. Uh, team Adidas full uh, zip um, hoodie. Um, okay, yeah, let's go to buy it nows, um, it's difficult to really tell, okay, that's, that got 17 pounds, 13 plus, yeah, okay, yeah, I'd say about 15 probably to sell it quickly, I'd guess, so from one pound 50, I don't know. Um, Bobby says I'd say 20 to 25 bang on um, and Josh says I would have said 15 myself yeah I mean yeah I suppose it depends I mean I'll put it up at like maybe 20 25 with best offer someone makes me an offer of 15 I'll, I'll accept it um, the next item I'm not sure I'm not 100% sure I should have picked this up but it could be one of my best buys um, it's damaged and I knew it was damaged when I bought it but again this is one pound fifty it's really cool. Um, this is a um, it, this is the problem, guys. This is the problem. Firstly, it smells a bit musty, so it needs to be aired out. But that's not that much of a problem. You can get rid of the smell of something. Um, the problem is the tag has been ripped. There, there would have been like a chain, and it has been ripped, and it just says established 1967 XL. But this is actually a Ralph Lauren. Um, you can tell from the tag um, and this is actually a down jacket um, you've got the button with the polo the polo guy there oh sorry I was referring to the new balance coat oh right okay and 15 would have been my top says TKX okay um, and on the back of the coat is the Ralph Lauren Sorry, yeah, um, symbol or well, like the, the 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 on a metal tag thing. Um, so it's pretty nice. It's very orange, and it is down filled. So this is down filled. So I think that is quite cool. It actually says on the tag, um, which I found quite interesting. Um, it says um, to. Um, separately tumble dry low with tennis balls to fluff the down so i think that's kind of kind of funny i don't know if that's like legit or if they're taking the mick um but it's a nylon shell 80 percent down 20 percent feather um you know item it it's definitely it's really nice and soft it's it could do with a bit of tlc definitely it's, like i said it's got a bit of a musty smell um but there we go. Paid one pound fifty for it, um, and okay, that coat screams nineties. Says Peter Ray, um, <laughs> and um, I think Dave says anyone else here trying to figure out who Z looks like with all that black hair. <laughs> okay, um, just someone who doesn't cut his hair, I guess. Uh, Fake Rachel says Pablo Escobar. I wouldn't have minded his wealth, but I'm not. I don't know if I can morally like could I, I don't know it's difficult to say really if I was in that situation um, and um, down could have got wet and moldy ah that's probably what it is Kath tennis ball to break up the clumps of wet feathers oh right okay Kath the tennis ball things is a great tip we use something similar but they can be noisy Oh, okay, so if they've gotten moldy, because it smells, 
it, it smells a bit musty, you know, like, um, is there any saving it? Um, if not, let me know, but it's a, it is, I, I do believe it's legit. It's a shame that the tag inside has been ripped, like the, the hook, the coat hanging hook has ripped. Um, but it is legit, I think. It feels legit. It's very soft. The button's cool. Um, and I, I don't know. I think I should... If it's legit, and which I think it is, if I can get it to stop smelling, that would be great. Um, but for £1.50, I thought it's worth trying. Um, down jacket orange. Like, they do seem to fetch good money. Um... This is a pre-owned one, but this is Polo Sport. Um, so that's a Polo Sport one, so it's it's different. Um, I think that will obviously be better because it's got the branding more kind of all over it. So I can see that's going to be worth more anyway. Um, wow, 500 for that, that, with the US flag on it and everything. Yeah, I mean, I should still do okay, I would think, but I don't know. Um... Need an ozone generator for getting rid of all smells, including smoke, says tea cakes. But yeah, £1.50, I'll see what happens with it. Um, but yeah, I thought it would be worth picking up because even if I can get... I mean, they, they all seem to be going for really strong money. Um, yeah, so, so I'm just going to have to see. Down puffer jackets. This guy only got 30 quid. I see what, if there was any particular reason for it. Used, dispatch. Okay, no, it was just used. Okay. Um, denim and supply, Ralph Lauren. Okay. Well, it's just a plain one, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with that. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. Put it in the freezer for 48 hours. Will kill all smells, says Tommy. I may do that. If you've ever seen any Ralph Lauren 92 Olympic Stadium clothing pay up, sells for hundreds, if not thousands. Um, yeah, I got it for 150, Bobby. Um, all of this is, every bit of clothing I'm showing you cost me £1.50. Um, so yeah, um, the, like I said, I, there's a Bernardo's, um, you know, donation centers um, where they just, send stuff in in the bins if you're willing to dig through the bins you can find some cool stuff i've found um one of the things i found in there bobby we haven't sold it yet but we found a cashmere wool blend bentley um bentley motorsport uh you know the um le mans team x speed 8 bentley le mans speed uh, like a, it's a, a jacket issued to staff at the crew alexandra um factory that was in the bins i paid one pound fifty for it and that made in england cashmere wool blend jacket um it's got to be worth a hundred plus we've got it listed we have not actually had any interest in it but i paid one pound fifty so yeah there we go um sue's pile of shame for smelly clothes says kath palmer wash in cold water first then normal wash then low heat in dryer with tennis balls says kath thank you um freezer tricks not true as soon as it warms up the smell will return says ash Okay, well, 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 I'm gonna go for a. I'm gonna put some effort into that because if I can get like 50 plus for it, it's worth a little bit of effort from 150. And when I say me, I'll ask Rebecca really nicely. Um, all right, this is the last item of clothing, and then we'll move on to some other stuff. There's some other stuff to show you guys. Um, I was quite busy. Um, and TK says ozone generator is the only true way. Can use it on electronics. True. I'm gonna look into an ozone generator because I don't even know what that is. TK, so I will look into it. Um, Peter Ray says Z now the master of clothes. Move over, reseller lazy. Z's on that. I don't think so. Um, this is the final item of clothing. Again, I paid one pound fifty for this. Um, I believe it's ladies because it's got shocking pink shoulder pads. Very 80s, I guess. So yeah, you got these nice... I don't, I, I don't know if they've just been added in. But this is... Um, I bought this because it's hand-woven Harris Tweed. So you've got really cool vintage label there. Hand-woven Harris Tweed. 100% uh, wool. Um, herring is this like a herringbone pattern? I believe um, it's like ooh, it's a two-button. It's like a two-button coat, 
the the buttons look really nice as well I think they're plastic though they I think they're meant to be leather but they feel like they're plastic to me um, but they're very nice nonetheless I'll get back to look at those um, so there we go it's like a, I think it's for ladies it looks like it's lost its shape a little bit if I'm honest I don't know there's there's no sizing information anywhere quite yeah there's, there's literally no sizing information I'm only guessing it's ladies because I can't see many men walking around with pink uh, shoulder pads um, you know it's not my kind of thing um, but yeah and um, DBG has popped in death by glamour thank you thanks for popping in DBG um, hope you're well Simon says says which side are the buttons on the buttons are on uh, they're on the they're actually on the right side the um, Simon which would lead me to believe it's a man's coat because it's a men's coat because yeah the buttons are on the right hand side from where I'm sat like yeah so I I would have thought that would be like a man's coat um, but you know leather you can indent with your nail obviously plastic you can't yeah it's yeah I think it's yeah it's plastic it doesn't feel like leather do you know what I mean it feels like plastic um, but yeah so I, I the buttons are on the on the side that you'd expect on the man's coat um, should be lined that Harris tweed I oh, hey Lex how are you um, yeah, there's no lining in it. It's just got these weird shoulder pads. But again, one pound fifty, and um, I don't know. I, looking at the completed, they didn't go for as much as I thought. Anyway, um, Harris Tweed two button jacket. I, I can't see it being a complete um, herringbone. Okay, herringbone. Um, yeah, they're not. I don't think they're. It's not turned out to be a particularly amazing pickup. Uh, yeah, I mean, and those are probably in better condition if they're li they're lined and stuff. This isn't lined. It's got a really nice old label on it, so I'll say it's vintage. But it it's clearly it's missing a lining, which yeah makes sense now. It should have had a line. I, why didn't I spot that? Why didn't I spot that? Noob, some noob. Um, but there you go. I, I should be able to get maybe 15 quid for it though. I, I'd reckon so. I'd reckon so. If I just say, look, super vintage, cool, I know, hipster, this, that, the other, and um, I'll, I will do that. Um, so those are the clothes items. Um, and we're going to move on to the, the other stuff now. Um, doo -doo -doo. Um, <laughs> Selena Scott's popped in. Hi. The truth, hashtag free Bex from slave labor. <laughs> um, um, this was interesting, but not as valuable as I would have liked it to have been. Um, I saw this, this was only 50 pence. And this is like a, um, a can cooling bag, like you can take with you when you're going out. You can fill this with cans of your favorite beverage. Um, so it's like, a, yeah, it's just like a little, you know, little cooling bag um, you can fill it with cans of your favorite drink and this has got like castle main forex which is like a I remember it from you know I remember it from the adverts back in the day and um, I just thought it was quite cool hey Shazad how are you thanks for popping in um, Carl Young says nice Harris tweed I think a department store got the contract to sell them a few years ago not as worth as much as the vintage ones but okay um, Shelly, hey, thanks for bobbing in, Shell Saruni. So yeah, only paid 50p, but it turns out it's not worth as much as I would have liked. Um, maybe people have just undersold it. Um, uh, Castle Main uh, Forex uh, Cooler Bag. Okay, if I just switch over, you can see that two of the same have gone at auction one for two pound fifty plus the three pound shipping one at 125 and then someone got a tenner plus shipping for a shoulder cooler bag i reckon you could probably um get better money than that um but probably not a lot maybe a fiver plus um you know th there's not much listed there's not much active listed 
Um, so it may well be worth just putting up for a little bit, but it was only 50 pence. So I, I can live with that. Um, so let's just move back. All right. Um, I also came across a job lot of these cassette storage boxes. Um, now what was, what caught my eye was on the actual cassette box, it says uh, TS made in Italy and it just says music. So these are for like audio cassettes. Um, audio cassette storage is, uh, has been popular for a while actually. I've been selling audio cassette storage um, for quite a while. Um, and oh yeah, I actually picked up six of these. So got like they're all in good condition. I paid a pound each. Um, I paid a pound each for these, um, but I would expect with some good photos and descriptions and whatever, um, I would expect to do okay with these. Um, they're nice and light, easy to ship. Um, let's see what they fetch. Uh, TS uh, made in Italy. Uh, music cassette box um, and we will see whether I can actually find any completed listings TS TS music cassette box mm -mm -mm. Cassette storage. Um, let me just go to souls and I'll bring up the screen. Okay, so varying degrees of success. Um, someone got a tenor at auction for this larger one. Someone took an offer on three, um, but like, I don't know whether that was. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you could do better than that, to be honest, because I'm pretty sure I've seen someone get better money. Here you go. Here's someone that actually got, um, you know, 13 99 with free shipping for one. Someone for a pink one took an offer of from 25 v vintage retro pink box there. Here you go. Someone got £15 for another one. I don't know what brand that is, but I think if you hold out and you describe it correctly, okay, that just says, I love music. There you go. Look, I love music. Nothing more to it. 15 pound with free shipping um, from someone called Retro Realm. That makes sense. 15 pounds again. Um, I mean, I'm going to point out that mine is made in Italy because that's a cool thing. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm quite happy with that. So I paid a pound each, uh, so six pounds for the six. Uh, if I can make from a pound to turn them into fifteen pound cells, that's not bad. And they should go quite well. I might even go higher. I might go for twenty best offer, and I offer international shipping. I just think they're cool. cool. Um, you know, nice little carrying handle on them as well. Um, yeah, I just think it's a good brand, really. I think this is a branded item, made in Italy. TS. Um, yeah, so I will, I'll be happy with that. So that was one of my pickups as well. Um, Harris Tweed is a material, but I think they will also produce some of their own items. Hi, Z, not saw you live for a while, says Millionaire Military. I did do a stream on Sunday as well. I streamed some stuff. I picked up the car boot. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing our, our Friday chat. Beck and I are going to be back at the, the, doing the normal Friday chinwag chat uh, this Friday as well. Uh, we did take a little break from that. I think we've missed one or two weeks. Um, but yeah, um, so that's 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 the situation. Um, question, what is the most you've spent at a car boot? Probably a few hundred pounds, Millionaire Military. I can't remember the exact amount, but it, I, yeah, there's been numerous times where like I've taken out the max cash in the morning before going to the car boot and have then had to go and take money out on Beck's card, Beck's bank card because I've reached the limit. So yeah, probably not recently, but in the past quite a few times. Um, I missed beginning. Where's he been sourcing charity shops, Shelley, uh, charity shops sourcing. Um, and Julie Halil says hi as well. Hi, Julie. All right. So that was that. Um, 
then I also picked up. This little scale electrics, it looks barely used. I wouldn't normally mess with it, but it was only three pounds. Um, and I don't know, I just thought, why not? It, I should maybe be able to get 15 to 20 for it. It's in, oops. <laughs> the cars are still in their original packets. They're in excellent condition, little cars. This is 164th scale. It looks to be all there. It really does. Um, everything looks to be there. All the, it's got all these original parts. So not not um, not an amazing profit on this, but from three pounds, I should be able to get twenty odd pounds for that because it is in really good condition. Doesn't look like it's been used much at all. Um, so micro scale electrics. So I paid three pounds for that. I'll have to put it together. I, I regret buying it already now. Regret buying that already. Uh, little bits and pieces moving around. Um, and then... And then I paid two pounds for another box of Sky Electrics. Um, I, I bought it mainly because this car looks pretty cool. I think you can get around 15 pounds for, for that. It's like a, around that anyway. This is a Porsche, uh, whatever. Uh, looks like a Le Mans car. And it's Hornby made in England. So two pounds for all of this. I thought it's, there's got to be some profit in there. I'm conscious of the time, so I'm speeding up a bit because we're up to 40 minutes already. I don't want to keep people for too long. Um, a Guitar Hero guitar, I uh, paid £3.50 for this. Um, it's it's just, what is it called? The Guitar Hero Hero Power. I'm not sure what this is worth. Um, it's just a Guitar Hero Power. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Guitar Hero, is that the same one? There you go. Someone got £25 for one. So I paid £3.50. There you go. That's the same guitar. Apparently it's for all of the consoles by the looks of it. I was wondering what it's for. Um, conditions good. Tested with strap. Uh, okay. Wireless guitar hero power for Xbox 360, one, PS3 and PS4. So he sold one at 25 one left. So that's not too bad from £3 something. Um, so we'll, we'll get rid of that. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay, um, break the scale electrics up and sell the parts. The cars will sell quick, then do bundles on the track, says Richard Hell. Yes, uh, Lord Ahab says, scale electrics, you bought yourself work. Yeah, it definitely seems like a fair bit of work there. I've not bought scale electrics really much in the past, but it was very cheap. So like three pounds, two pounds, it was difficult to say no. Um, now... The final thing I'm going to share with you is the costume jewelry job lot. Now, it is the cheapest uh, costume jewelry um, that you could see. I mean, I, I when I went to the, um, it was at the charity shop. They had like a, a plastic container, and they they had it marked up at twenty pence an item. Um, so that's all they were asking. And it was just cheap. I don't know why. Sometimes, I, when you're outsourcing, sometimes you don't know quite why you do the things that you do. Uh, sometimes you uh, you can't really explain it. And then you get back and you think, what was I thinking? I'm hoping this will be, be an okay purchase. Um, it, tell me what you guys think. Because it's a bit, it's a bit, uh, you know, it's a bit much, really. Um, I bought... A crate, um, and it's already been sorted. Oh gosh! It's really cheap costume jewelry. Um, we bought absolutely tons of it. Absolutely tons of it. It's super cheap Chinese import, but it looks like something you'd wear on a you know a weekend or you know just for a little bit of fun, and you were not bothered about it. We've got bags of it. This has already been listed on the store. 
Um, these are just, I think these, these are just hair clip things. Um, let me just show you. Let's show you what we've got. So we've probably got about 200 of these. So they're just like really silver hair clip things. Um, and then we've got bunches of these earrings. So they're like hooped earrings. Um, just, you know, model it. <laughs> um, Lex says, jewelry, I'm here. Yeah, it's not your level jewelry, this Lex. This is very basic. Um, this is not vintage. This is just cheap, um, but a lot of it. Um, I mean, we've... Actually, there might be an easier way of showing you, actually. Let me just, um... Let me just show you, actually. It'd be kind of easier to do it this way. Um... Because we have listed it, and we can just show you the listing. Um, then you can see the photos. Your hair is long enough for a hair clip, says Christine. Yes, it probably is. <laughs> it probably is. Um, just quickly. I'm not putting hair clips on. I'm not putting hair clips on. <laughs> I'm not. Th there's limits. Not now, anyway. Um, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. So these are the lines. Now we bought an absolute stack of this stuff. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna transition you across, guys. So the, you'll get a better idea of what they look like from here as well, because we've actually taken them out of the box. So we've got absolutely stacks of these hair clips. As you can see, they're just very, you know, they're kind of silver and big. Um, what are they? Clip, uh, claw grip or something. Um, and then we've got these little hoop earrings. So we've got these ones which are green with a little fake green shiny stone. Um, and then we've got the same thing with a gold one. Um, difficult to see that one actually. We're going to have to look at those photos for that one. Uh, the gold tone. And then we've got this nice little pink kind of one. Again with the pink stones. Um, we've got stacks of this. Um, We've, we've got absolutely stacks of it. Now, <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, so, you know, so there's four lines in total. So one, two, three, four. And as you can see, there's 220 available. <laughs> 220 of those clips. 203 of these. <laughs> so we're selling them. Um, <laughs> And how many of those? 158 of those and 144 of those. So we have got, how much is that? That's so much stuff. Um, so 200, 200, 400, like 550, like seven, about 700 items. Um, so <laughs> that we bought all of that. Um, hey Lisa, how are you? As a manzi, how do you feel about looking through the women's clothing? I struggle, Mandy. I don't do it. Um, I, I I wish I did because they where I went to get those clothes, I um like I I go to the men, the men's bin. There is a woman's bin. And I do look at it, but I get overwhelmed and I feel awkward, so I stop. Um, so yeah, uh, that's how I feel about it, Mandy. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, send them into Amazon FBA. Have you sold them yet? We only listed them. We only listed them today, Carl Young. So no, we've not sold any yet. It's a cheap jewelry mega haul. Super cheap. Um, let's have some guesses on how much we paid for that. So we've got about 700, 144 pairs of these earrings. Um, so 144 pairs of these earrings, uh, 158 pairs of those ones, uh, 200 of the green ones, and about 200 hair clips. Um, how much do you reckon we paid? I want to know whether I've made a good buy or not. Um, I want, yeah, yeah, I want you to guess how much did the lot cost you. I, w I want some guesses in the chat if you can. This is the last item anyway, and then, then you guys can go. So that's all. If you put in some guesses, and I'll know. Lisa says, 50 pounds. 12 T says Southwest. Bad Biscuit says 7. 
question. Who counted them? Bex, I reckon, yeah. 20 from Richard, 50 from Carl, 35 from Bex, 30 pounds, 12 pound 50, Lord Herb, 10, Bobby, 20. Yeah, not far off it, guys. We paid 2 pounds 50. Um, she, Mandy says 60, Jason, 25. Yeah, we paid 2 pounds 50, so we thought we'll give it a go. If we can get, if we can get these to get some traction, Julie says 70, well, yeah, no, we paid two pounds 50. Um, so it's a lot there. It's already listed. Um, Shelter Rooney says 100. Um, yeah, no, two pounds 50 we paid. So um, I was, <laughs> if you paid more than a tenner, I'm giving you a slap. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, it's, I know it's super cheap um, and it's, yeah, but we pay £2.50. So we're like, we're like, even if we can just sell a few, um, ooh, was I close? You were close at £7, Le um, Lex, yes. <laughs> oh, now Carl says £2.50. What do you win? I'll send you one. <laughs> um, you were only a tenner out, says Christine. Um, I'd have taken bags of rags for 250 at that quantity. Can't go wrong for 250. Do multi by discount. Yeah, we've done multi by discount. Um, have you tried the hair bands yet? No, we've not tried the hair bands yet. But it's we're gonna just put them on and see whether we can sell them because if we can get traction um, on them, they'll just tick away. Um, we have looked at other sellers selling similar stuff. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, two pound fifty. How much a pair? Where I don't know if we're asking too much or not. To be honest, but we're asking three ninety nine shipped. No, I'm good, thanks, Alex. Oh, you don't want any? Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah. So it's it's definitely not like the kind of stuff that um that Beck normally likes picking up. For example, um. I mean, yeah, so, well, it's put a big smile on your face, so that's great, says Christine. Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's £2.50, it's all right. It's, it, hopefully, we'll be able to sell some. If we can, that's great. If not, it's not much loss. Um, yeah, you only have to sell one and you have your money. Well, kind of, kind of. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, I just thought it was not bad. It was actually at a charity shop. Um, you know, they just had the box there. They were only asking 20 pence each. Um, but there was, like I said, there was a whole box of them. So I just asked, how much would you sell the lot for? I was surprised when she just said two fifty. So I'm guessing they've struggled to move any at all. So two pound fifty. I was like, yeah, well, you know, can't go wrong, really. Well, we'll see. Anyway, guys, that is um, what I've picked up today. Um, there was one other thing, but it's kind of irrelevant. It's some like RC stuff, uh, but yeah, it's kind of pointless because that was not something there um you should have done multi-variation listings the best type of listing that ebay like is converting multi-variation listings oh what where you put it all on with all the colors on one listings yeah um so yeah anyway um amazon fba was designed for moving large quantity like that i think there might be a problem with gating yeah i don't know if we'd be able to sell that if worse comes to worse we'll take them to the car boot sell and sell them for a quid a bag do you know what i mean like um let people buy them for 50, 50p a bag i don't know it doesn't matter really does it um uh so yeah should hopefully be okay um anyway guys that was what i picked up i hope you found it interesting at least um and if you did, leave it a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for joining. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. We will be, we will be back on Friday with our normal chat. Uh, so I hope um, to see you guys there as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.